Are you looking for the best Chinese electric scooters? In this video we will look at some of the best Chinese electric scooters on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Anbernic RG503. If we're to talk about a handheld console that manages to be affordable, capable and downright enjoyable, it's hard to not hand over that crown of handheld gaming perfection to RG503. For a very pocket-friendly price point, the RG503 has all it takes to take you back memory lane. You'll love the awesome 4.95-inch old display and the insanely rich colors it produces. I've spent time with this handheld, and it's for sure one of the very few Chinese handheld consoles that manages to spit out quality images, none of that washed out, dull and overly pikeslatered stuff you probably don't like. It's powered by a beefy RK3566 processor. That's obviously more than enough to handle the entire list of your favorite retro game title, including everything from the old NES game, to PSP, PS1 titles and even N64 games. But this handheld is not just running them, it's running them flawlessly, so no lags or stutters when you're playing even the most demanding titles of yesterday. Number 2. Paukadi RGB 10 Max 2. The RGB 10 Max 2 is an off-brand retro handheld console available on AliExpress, and while this is not from a big game manufacturer like Anbernic, it's still a well-built piece of hardware that measures up well against much pricier devices from popular handheld manufacturers. Right now, you can pick one up from AliExpress for about $120. $120 gets you a properly sized 5-inch handheld powered by a more than capable processor and ergonomics that'd make a Nintendo Switch jealous. For the price, this is an absolute steal of a handheld console. Now performance is certainly not on par with Anbernic's RG503, but it's not far off either. The RGB10 Max 2 has all it takes to run even the most performance-intensive retro titles smoothly. It'll churn through PSP, PS1 and even N64 games without breaking a sweat. The screen is also not the old panel you'd find on the RG503, but its IPS display is good game to produce top quality images. One place where the RGB10 does match the RG503 squarely is in the build quality department. In hand, this thing looks and feels premium, and I reckon with careful handling, it's certainly going to last more than you'd care to use it. Number 3. GameMax A380. The GameMax A380 is a down-to-the-basics retro handheld. It's not going to win a performance contest, neither is the build anything close to that on the top retro handhelds on AliExpress. What it is though, is a ridiculously cheap handheld that'll run your favorite NES, Sega, maybe PSP game titles smoothly. Thanks to a beefy chip on board and 512 megabytes of RAM to back it all up, this is a sub-$60 handheld with enough under the hood to take you way back retro gaming days. Even better, you get an excellent for the price HD+, Plus, 800x80, IPS screen. Again, not the best out there, certainly not comparable to the old HD screen on the RG501, but considering you're only paying about $60 for this, it's a great display. Images pop, resolution is excellent, and the only noticeable downside is that you might struggle with using it in outdoor environments. I love the build of GameMax A380. While it does feel very plasticky, again normal characteristic for a handheld this price, ergonomics is premium and burnic levels. This thing feels very comfortable and lightweight in hand, and with dual sticks and deftly placed control buttons, you'll be comfortable playing your favorite titles. Number 4. Anbernic RG351M. Anbernic manages to steal another spot on this list of the best Chinese retro handhelds on AliExpress with the RG351M. Unlike its older cousin, the RG503, this is a moderately spec'd retro handheld console made to match up to some of the cheaper handhelds we've covered in this guide. To do that, it shaves off a few performance strong points you'd get with the RG503. This handheld console ships with a less powerful processor. There's a downgrade with the display as well, you get an IPS panel compared to the old on the RG503, 
and the build quality is not exactly premium-like as you'd find on the RG503. For the dip in overall quality however, you get an almost 40% drop in price. Is that a good deal? Well yeah, if you're looking to buy a handheld console with a good enough build and enough power to run retro games up to PS1 levels, then the RG551M is just what the doctor ordered. Think of it as a better made game max at 380. It'll definitely last longer because it has a better build. You'll enjoy the gaming experience better because it has a better processor, display and battery. But it doesn't come close to the range-topping performance characteristics of the RG503 or the Pauquity Max 2. It's a budget handheld gaming device intended to sit in that sweet spot between premium and ridiculously cheap. Number 5. Unbranded for 3-inch. Now, if you want a handheld gaming console strictly for NES games, there's no need to splurge cash on an RG503 or even the Game Max A380. For just under $40, you can get this unbranded Chinese handheld retro gaming module. It's not the sleekest handheld console out there, neither is it the most powerful, actually, it's nowhere near any of the packed retro gaming handhelds you can buy on AliExpress. It's a basic handheld console that can only handle NES games. So no PSP, PS1, Sega or N64 games. For the NES games it can however play, this thing puts out surprisingly good pictures through its again surprisingly large 4.3 inch screen. Ergonomics is really more than you can ask for from a sub $40 retro console. It's nice to hold, and gaming for a few hours on this should pose no challenge. Yes, you get only one analog stick and no HDMI output, but for the games you'll be playing, NES only, you probably don't need any of that. Build quality is decent enough and doesn't tell on the price. In fact, you can compare the build here to what you'd find on the RG551M, and this fact is not a stain on the RG551MS build quality, rather, it just goes to show you how much quality you're getting at what I'd say is a drop-dead pocket-friendly pricing.